Yeah, buddy, what is up, Jet Nation? What is up, YouTube? Sean back with another episode. Let's talk about the draft. Let's talk about round one last night. Um, holy smokes. Um, yeah, I was completely, like, blown out of my chair. Um, I was, besides myself, I was like, couldn't even believe what I saw. I mean... I am so impressed with Joe Douglas and with this front office. Like, it's about time we we are, you know, building around a great front office and they're able to build a roster, you know, the right way. So, I mean, this is the most excited I've been about a draft in, I don't even know, years. Um, maybe going all the way back to when we drafted Chad Pennington. And, and speaking of that... You know, we had four first-round picks that year. John Abraham, Sean Ellis, Chad Pennington, Anthony Beck. Um, this draft class could end up being an even better draft class than that one, which is saying a lot. Um, I mean, Abraham and Ellis were amazing. Chad Pennington was a starting quarterback in the league for many, many years. Um, you know, but these guys, I mean... I had the Jets taking Jermaine Johnson and Sauce Gardner in a whole bunch of my mocks, and um, I had them taking Garrett Wilson in one mock, uh, but I can't believe we got all three of them, man. I really can't. That's crazy. Um, I was so happily surprised with Sauce Gardner. I mean, this guy is going to be, he's going to make this secondary legit, man, um, with him and DJ Reed on the other side, Michael Carter in the slot. Jordan Whitehead, gosh, if you could only get Marcus Joyner to return to form, we'll say. Um, you know, obviously he was injured last year. He played nickel in in uh, with the Raiders. He was in Oakland at the time and before they moved to Vegas. And, uh, you know, he didn't play that well. I mean, he was playing out of position, though. So um, moving him back to free safety. You know, maybe if you can get a solid season out of him, this secondary. If you can get a solid season out of Marcus Joyner, this secondary could be nasty. Um, and then obviously, Garrett Wilson. Um, he's the best route runner in this draft. Um, one thing I didn't realize about him earlier on was um how athletic he is even though he's a little bit shorter i know we were looking for a bigger more physical wide receiver potentially as more of a compliment to the guys we have on the roster right now uh as more of a compliment to the guys we have on the roster now but this guy can go up and get the ball man some people have compared the way he plays to odell beckham jr and i mean shoot if you're getting 80% of what Odell Beckham Jr. is, and you put him with Elijah Moore, um, Corey Davis, those tight ends. Uh, if we can get another running back here to compliment uh, Michael Carter, we're on, on our way, man. And um, the best pick of all, like I was saying, it like when do we pull? When do we pull the trigger and trade up for Jermaine Johnson? When do we do that? You know, I kept watching them fall down the draft boards. I was watching another show live, and I was uh, chatting with them and saying, you know, when when is the point where we decided to jump up and grab this guy? Um, we needed an edge. We needed a wide receiver. We got him, and we also got the best player in the draft on top of that. I mean, uh, I mean, they were all, I mean, they're all three my number one guys at all three positions. So, I mean, I don't even know what to think at this point. <laughs> You know, I was, like, speechless last night when it all went down, so. Yeah, so, oh, my God, guys, I can't believe this. I think this team is finally turning things around. We finally got a front office that knows what the heck they're doing. And before we say goodbye today, let's do it. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Guys, we do have our first show sponsor. It's Green Compass CBD products and hemp products. 
Uh, they're awesome. Our autistic son, Grayson, actually uh, takes takes them. Um, the tincture, the oil, the drops, whatever you want to call it. Um, we take a lot of them as well, gummies. Uh, they have creams. Uh, even their pain cream is amazing. So check them out. Uh, link's in the description.